swing and a drive deep into left field. Back is Greenwell. Back he goes. Gone! Take Me Out to the Ball Game is just what over two and a half million people have been humming on their way to Memorial Stadium this year. But just about every night from April to September, millions more have gotten inside the ballpark thanks to imagination and the talent of two very special guys. I'm John Miller along with Joe Angel. And in a moment, Joe will be back with a look at the starting lineups after these messages. Joe Angel and John Miller are the broadcast team for the Baltimore Orioles. To call them the best team in baseball would draw very few arguments across the country. And the secret to their success is that same spirit that burns in the heart of every fan. In the booth, I'm a little kid. I mean, on the, uh, the edge of my seat, I want to start screaming. You know, I wish I was out there among the fans because uh, it's fantastic. When Cal hit the home run or when Comets uh, the other night made uh, that almost sensational catch, uh, you know, moments like that, I mean, it just gives me goosebumps. I, I love it. I, I can't wait to get out to the ballpark. It's still exciting. You hear the roar of the crowd, and that's, I'm a roar of the crowd junkie. I mean, to me, that's what it's all about. Uh, I love to hear the roar of the crowd, and uh, uh, even if it's against the order, it's still very exciting. As a hard smash, caught at short. Between them, they share over 30 years of professional broadcast experience, each of them bringing a distinct style to the partnership. And in this remarkable season, Joe has offered us a consistent behind-the-scenes insight to the players in his pregame show featuring conversation with manager Frank Robinson. Frank's always got to talk to the ladies first. He pays a lot of attention to them. Hey, hey Frank, how come you never say hello to me like that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, even just a, a simple process of getting on the team bus, being on the road, getting onto the team bus after the game. It's alive. It gives you a feeling of belonging and being a part of something that's really important, a part of something that people all over Baltimore are following every day. They pick up the paper, what's going on, and you're, you're playing a major role. It makes you feel great. Is it now a two-bird race? <laughs> Come on, Joe. How corny can you get? Well, it's not a two-horse race. <laughs> Oh, and one the count. Guillen with a big lead from second. The pitch. Hard ground ball. Short hopped at third by Worthington. To second one. Billy to first. Two. A double play. The birds of Baltimore have been making us feel great all year. But during the occasional slow moments of a long season, the guys can be quite entertaining. Here's the pitch. <laughs> In fact, John Miller is well known across the country for his imitation of fellow announcer Vin Scully. Now, some of you may have heard it. Well, here's what John looks like while he's doing it. The 2-1 pitch on the way, curve low, ball two, two and one. You know, I mean, you imagine he goes up and down like that. and you. You wonder, I mean, does he talk like that at home? You know, does he wake up in the morning talking like that? Well, good morning, darling, and welcome to the Scully bedroom. Say, what's for breakfast? I'd love some Farmer John pure pork sausage. Mm -mm. The plain fact is these guys have so much fun at their work that it almost seems like play. Maybe that's why some young kids are eyeing their jobs. Well, first I become a first baseman on the Orioles, and then after about, I say, 20 years playing, I break uh, Brooks Robinson's record, and then I become a radio announcer. In fact, it's not as easy as it looks, but to share in the excitement, Joe and John recently welcomed a young fan into the booth to lend a hand in the pennant chase. And now coming up is someone who I don't know. Oh. <laughs> it's Jamie Quirk. It's Jamie Quirk. You got it. All right. <laughs> but I, I like your honesty. That's good. No curveball is unhittable for these two. And as the team plays out the string in this improbable season, the storytelling bird callers are ever mindful of the audience. In Baltimore, a lot of times, I think the, the, the fans tend to uh, serve as an inspiration to the ball club. And uh, I think that's maybe a little bit different here. Uh, it's more like a college uh, atmosphere around here. You know, the, the Wild Bill Hagee's not here any longer, but, but he was a guy who kind of uh, showed that that existed here. And I, and I think that the, the fans here are a little bit like that. Uh, I think the, they get the ball players, uh, they get them juiced up for a, a big game. Center field, backing up in left field. This one way back, and you can wave it bye-bye. 